Welcome to the Tall Girl Tuesday podcast. It's your girl, Danny, And on this week's episode, we're going to get a little spicy because, as you all know, I'm new to the podcast world. So I'm just now finding out about sex timber. I've been forced, not going to say forced, but uh, coerced to participate so I had a couple like random people just email me in some questions that they wanted to know about me and my, I guess my sex life and the things that I may or may not do behind closed doors. So let's just get right into it. So of course, like all of the submissions are anonymous unless they, well, most of the people who did email in were like, they don't care. But I'm not going to sit here and call off email names because like, what's your real name? Sometimes your email name has nothing to do with your actual name. And if I don't know your name, there's a problem. So again, let's get into first question that was emailed in to me was, am I stubborn in the bedroom? And I'm going to have to assume that some of these questions are random and then others might be assumptions about me. So it's interesting um, to sit here and read them and to go through them and try to figure out "Hmm, which one is which. Like, are you asking because it's just a random question or is it because you think I'm a certain type of way? Either way, I find it a little exciting whichever way that may go. So the first question was, are you stubborn in the bedroom? And the answer to that is no, I would say. Um, I'm not one of those women that's just willing to do the basics and then just like assume everyone's happy and that's it. I'm someone who definitely likes to be active. Um, (laughs) I prefer to share myself with someone who is an explorer as well. So, yeah, definitely not stubborn in the bedroom. The uh, next question was... Do I initiate sex? Now, that is a good one because I was just having a conversation with a girlfriend of mine about this last week. And she was saying, like, just in general, as a person, I seem aggressive. And I seem like the type that would just like what I want or act for what I want or demand it when it comes to in the bedroom. <laughs> and I was like, hmm, is that the type of vibe that I give off to people? Okay. Let's go with that. But I initiate it. I initiate sex, but it's not like all the time. Like my guy is definitely initiating way more than me. And that's really just a a mind thing for me. Uh, Definitely, I'm the type that, oh, as soon as you walk in the door, it's on site in my mind, but I can't really fix my lips or my body to say, hey, you ready? Like, you don't really know what type of food a person is in, right, automatically. So it's like, I'm trying to feel out the situation. Also, I don't want to be a complete savage and just like the draws as soon as you get through the door. So I'm, I'm too much in my mind all the time to just express that I want it when I want it a lot of times. And, um, I was speaking uh, about this with a friend of mine, a guy friend of mine, last week also, and he actually gave me some pr- some pretty good tips that I plan to uh, apply to my life very soon. And um, th- to be honest, I'm I don't like rejection. I know most people say that, and guys like, well, we have to do it all the time, but I don't know. I just can't imagine a guy. I can't imagine my guy telling me like, I don't want to have sex with you or not right now because I'm I'm just going to have a whole I'm I'm really going to be feeling some kind of way so I try to avoid that and like pick up on signs now I'm granted I might say something slick just to like get a feel for the situation like is he ready 
But most of the times, I'm not going to jump all the way in unless I know, like, it's go time. So hopefully that makes sense. And um, the next question I was asked was, are you teachable? <laughs> are you teachable? And of course, we're this is sex timber, so we're talking about strict, strictly sex here. And the answer to that is absolutely. I love when a man teaches me or tells me the things that he likes and dislikes in the bedroom. Not everybody likes it that way or, you know, or, um, you know, can get relief from the things that you consider that you're a pro at. So by all means, if my guy is feeling a certain kind of way or is not getting to where he needs to get because of something I'm doing or not doing, please tell me. And trust me, <laughs> it happens like it's uh, the conversations are happening during the act for sure. Like, let's get it. Let's not get it twisted now. I'm not. I think it's I think it's I think it's um, a turn on for me when a guy can tell me what he needs to get where he needs to get. Do it this way or, you know, less of this and more of that. I, I think that's dope. That kind of like. I love to be taught, love to be taught. So yeah, definitely, definitely express that to me. And uh, the next uh, entry came in, said, what do you feel? Like, how vocal are you or do you like to be? And um, I'm like, I guess normal. Like I'm not, I guess I'm, I guess I'm normal. I have a normal amount of expression when I'm having sex. I'm not sitting there like quiet or, you know, not having any type of reaction at all, unless it's bad. But then if it's bad, then we might as well just stop. It's like, what's the point? But for me, I'm, I'm more, I I like it more when a guy is, I'm not going to say I like it more, but I'm, I get off more when the guy is vocal because you got some men out here who are extremely quiet and it's like well damn do you like it or not like am I performing well or not because you were legit quiet that's not my type of guy I like to hear how you're feeling while we're in the act I want to know that is good I want to know that it's mine I want to know that I want you to know that this is yours you know what I'm saying all of that I need it I love it and um, I just think communicating all around is always better, whether it's in a sexual situation or, you know, just, <laughs> you know, regular conversation. I love when a man is vocal. I think that like when I'm, um, I think that moaning and expressing yourself verbally during sex is like putting it's like putting an extra battery pack in my back that I didn't know that I needed so it's like damn all right so this this is working so then I'm gonna go 10 times harder especially if your body is reacting in a certain way absolutely next question was some of your do's and don'ts <laughs> what are some of your do's and don'ts in a bedroom and I think I'm pretty much open in terms of uh, my sexuality and being in the act. And I don't have too many things that I'm absolutely not willing to do. But it also depends on what level I am at with the person that I'm being intimate with. So if it's just somebody I'm just hitting here and there just because, you know, I don't feel like using my vibrator, then I mean, that's what it is. I'm not putting in all that extra work, like have an assignment. Let's just get it done. And that's it. But with my man, we can pretty much do anything. Um, I'm with it. I'm, I'm legit with the shits and people don't, people, people seem to be surprised when I say things like that, but I don't have too many things that I won't do, especially like when I'm in love and I'm riding for this person, like, let's do it. That's what you like. Let's do it. Now, I do. I have to say, I do have an issue with like actually spitting on the day. Now, that for me, I, I don't think I can do that. Um, something about it really, really grosses me out. I don't know why. Hopefully, 
some of my ladies out here can listen and relate. I don't know, but spitting on it, actually spitting on it to me is like, I can't do it. Now, granted, I have the skills that I need to not have to do it. Like, I ain't missing nothing in that department. I'm good. Don't need to do that. But I know some men who, like, will tell a girl to actually spit on it. And I'm just glad that I've never had a guy who needed that. So that that might be a little, that might be a no. If anything's a no, that would probably be a no for me. Um, I don't know. <laughs> that's that's a rough one. That That's one that I've so far haven't had to do. And anybody that I was with, like my man never really asked for and needed that. So yeah, that that would probably be it for me. And um, what are some of your turnoffs was the next question in the bedroom. And for me, um, kind of re- going back to what I said earlier, like a quiet man really doesn't do it for me. I cannot just be sitting here letting you pound away and I'm over here like putting in work and... You don't have any type of reaction. Like, how do I know that you like it? I shouldn't have to stop and ask you. Express to me how you're feeling in the moment. Otherwise, I'm not going to be offended, but it's it's not a pleasurable experience for me. So I need to know. And um, hopefully you're comfortable enough to express yourself. And then if you're one of those people who just like completely shut off emotionally in the bedroom, then you're not for me. Yeah, you're not my type of guy. So probably won't be around to. Okay, so moving on to the next one. Someone asked, is bad sex the absence of knowing your partner's turn ons and offs? Or is it not being able to hit those hot spots? That's a really good question. I think I think that one is kind of based off a of matter of opinion. Uh I think for me, bad sex is if you communicating the things that you like and don't like to your to your person and they're just not willing to bend or do the things that you like to get you where you need to be and to make you happy, then that's a problem. And it's always going to be a problem. And at that point, you have to make a decision like no one with all that we have going on in life, nobody wants to be having bad sex in addition to, you know, <laughs> everything else that's going on around us. So that's really a good question, though. I feel like bad sex is more of not um, the absence of knowing your partner's turn ons and offs. Now, I'm looking at the word absence in here and it's like, so that that can go a couple ways. If you're telling your person what you like and don't like, and they're just choosing not to fulfill those needs or to work on them, you know, to make sure that you're happy, then that's a problem. But if you're just sitting here taking it and you're getting pounded on and it's not good for you and you're not saying anything, then that's on you, sis. Um, I'm not that type of person. I'm not going to just sit here and take it if I don't like it. I'm going to let you know. It's not going to be in a rude way or anything like that, but probably ask my guy first like is there anything that you don't like that you know make it about him first sis and then that's how you ease your way into telling him what you want to need that's just a little tip I would give you so yeah there those are two different situations hopefully the latter is uh is the situation because if he if the guy's not hitting those hot spots as it was written to me um th- that can be fixed you know that can be fixed but a partner act- actively not willing to make sure your needs are met then that's a whole different situation so hopefully that made sense it made sense in my mind but sometimes i don't express myself well enough for people to understand i don't know maybe but those were the main questions didn't want to make this episode too long but i did have a question in return if you made it this far i appreciate you and uh definitely give me some feedback let me know what you guys think um if we need a sex timber part two let's do it still some days left in a month but my question is for the guys out here do men still like lingerie that's what I want to know. 
If you've made it this far and you're a guy, please email in to me the answer to that. Or once I post on, on the Tall Girl Tuesday page or on the YouTube channel in the comment section, let me know what you think, respond, react. I want to know, do men still like lingerie? Because I'm like the type of woman who likes to get dressed for my guy. I want to I know men are visual, so I want you to look at me and think about us being intimate or think about these hips and whatever I'm wearing. Like, I want you to think about those things while we're together and while we're not together, you know, just something like to be in the back of your mind like, damn, but do guys even like that or appreciate that? I don't know. I'm just asking. I know everybody has their own thing that they like and what they want women to wear, but in terms of lingerie, like legit getting dressed a certain type of way for your guy to put him in the mood do men like that let me know again as always it's been real thank you for tuning in email me at tgt the podcast at gmail.com follow me on subscribe rather to my youtube channel tall girl tuesday the podcast and uh let me know what you think And also, don't forget to shop that Teespring website. Go get yourself some Tall Girl Tuesday merch. And as always, thank you for tuning in.